Hi, I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design and welcome to another Insider Marketing Secret. This time we're having a look at the Insider Marketing Secret to Digital Strategy. Now, before you run away, before you glaze over, before you push that stop button, because I know this is one of those topics that a lot of people go, oh Dave, Digital Strategy, that's just la la. I don't need to know about Digital Strategy. This is genuinely really important and it's a mistake a lot of people make in not having a digital strategy or having a digital strategy that only exists in their head and then when they use the digital strategy, it's not used properly. Just before I do that, if you know someone who could use some help with their advertising and marketing, then please share this podcast with them. Send them to the website where they can subscribe to it. We'll email it to them each week free or Better than that, send them to the iTunes store where they can subscribe to the podcast, comes to their mobile device every week, absolutely free. It could be the greatest gift you ever give to someone else in business. All right, so the insider marketing secret on digital strategy. Now, a digital strategy is more than, I need a Facebook page, Dave, because everyone else has got one, or my friend said I need one, or I need a website, Dave, because someone said I had to do it. This is not a shopping list. This is not one of those things where you work your way through it and go, yep, Facebook page, tick, website, tick, LinkedIn page, tick. No, it's not that way at all. Having a digital strategy is, how do I attract customers, both repeat and new business, to my business using digital-only methods? So through having a social media page or a website or, or whatever. Now, here's something you need to consider. All of those digital means are just channels to your business. You don't necessarily need every channel. All roads don't lead to Rome, okay? Some businesses, brace yourself, don't need a Facebook page. Sure, everyone's got one, but not every business needs one. If you don't have a digital strategy for how you're using it, you could be just setting up a Facebook page and not really understanding what the power of that Facebook page is. It's like the customers that come to me and say, hey Dave, I think I need a television ad. They've started in the wrong spot. You see, the way that this works is, who am I talking to? What do I need to say to them? What's the message? And that then tells you where that message gets placed, whether it be on television, radio, in the newspaper, uh, social media, on your web page. That's what having a strategy is all about. So you've got to make sure that you're using the right tools for the right reasons. So having a digital strategy, incredibly important. And the step one in that is, what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? What are you using these tools for? Or are you just accumulating a bag of tools? The next thing is research your industry. You've heard the old saying, knowledge is power. Yep, well, absolutely. You've got to know what your competitors are doing, what they're trying, what tools they're pulling out of the bag. And then you've got to assess how successful they are. Don't just do it because your competitors have done it in the past. Honestly, I saw so many people over the years using phone directories where they would look at last year's ad of all of their competitors and say, oh, well, Bill had that in his ad. I, I better have that in my ad as well. You have no idea whether that did or didn't work for Bill unless you asked Bill. And if Bill told you, then you had genuine knowledge of whether that worked. And I've got to tell you, for the most part, Bill had no idea. You know, Bill is in the same position as you are if you don't have a strategy. So make sure you've got knowledge about your competitors, what they're doing, how many followers they have, what pages they have on their website. Go and have a look and write it down so you can compare where you are to where they are and make assessments based on fact. You've also got to understand who it is that you're talking to. After all, that's what we're really doing here, is we're communicating, we're forming relationships, we're sharing information with our customers in order to establish our credibility and the fact that we have solutions to their problems. If you don't understand their problems properly, if you're trying to solve a problem that they don't have, they don't care. So you only want to solve problems that they have, not problems that you perceive that they might have. The next step in having a digital strategy is don't be afraid to go back to the basics. You can always start again. In any strategy, you are not married to the strategy. Sometimes when you're climbing the mountain, you discover that you've made a wrong turn and you have to go back. It's a bit like snakes and ladders. You go up a bit, you slide back a bit, you go up a bit more, you turn around, you go back another way. You've got to understand that when you have a strategy, you're not married to it, you can always 
turn back. Better to do that than to pursue something that's not working. You can't force that square peg into the round hole. The next thing in a digital strategy is knowing search engine optimization. Search engine optimization, don't kid yourself, is not easy. If you don't know what you're doing with search engine optimization, you can spend money that, and just waste it. You might as well have you know, given it to your best friend rather than spending it. If you don't understand how search engine optimization impacts on your website, on your social media strategy, on your content strategy, then you need to talk to somebody who can help you. The next part of any digital strategy is advertising, because advertising matters, but you've got to be talking to the right people in the right way. We all know that Google AdWords is out there, it's pay per click, it goes by lots of names, but the people you want to click are the people who are looking to purchase your product. You don't want competitors clicking on it, you don't want people clicking on your pay per click advertising who are just looking for your phone number. After all, that's what organic search is meant to do for you. And the final part of any digital strategy is making sure that your content is fresh and up to date. You see, if you forget about the content that's on your web page or the stuff that you're pushing out through social media and you don't keep it fresh and up to date, then Google looks at it and says, well, these guys have forgotten they've got a website and they start to rank you back. And you don't want that to happen. You've put a lot of effort into getting where you are. So continue to keep your content fresh, relevant and up to date. And that will help drive more traffic to your website. So there you go. That's the insider marketing secret on having a digital strategy. If you need help with a digital strategy or you need help with marketing in general, then please either give me a call, we can have a chat about it, or for that matter, send me an email and we'll give you a call. Until next time with more insider marketing secrets, I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design and I look forward to talking to you about your advertising and marketing in the very near future.